Abu Ghosh, a Muslim village situated in the foothills leading to Jerusalem. On a high peak overlooking the village at a site known as Kiryat Yarim, where the Holy Ark sat before being moved by King David to Jerusalem, sits the church known as Notre Dame Arche d'Alliance. Today, at this church, and at the nearby St. Jeremiah Crusader Church, which is located in the heart of the village, a vocal music festival takes place twice annually in the spring and fall during the Jewish festivals of Shavuot and Sukkot. The Abu Ghosh Vocal Music Festival has throughout its 25-year history been an important venue for choirs, performers, and composers of liturgical music from around the globe. a historical event where most of the guests are Jews, the festival taking place in a Christian church, and the hosts are Muslim Arabs of Abu Ghosh. First of all, we are in an Arab village, so that's one thing. And the music, music usually is Christian. And we are Jews, so there, there you are. <laughs> the Jewish and Christian and Muslim, they, in this day, they feel they one people and they one family. This is the secret of the festival. I remember the very first time I came to Abu Ghosh, I did a sing-along Messiah of Handel, uh, as just today we're doing the Schubert Mass, and we had in the choir uh, Christians, Jews, and, and Muslims together. So it's a very special moment when the music brings people together, and it shows that people can live in brotherhood and in harmony, not just musical har harmony, but uh, in political harmony as well. Coexistence is very important for us as Arabs and Jews who live together in this neighborhood. And the people are very happy to see a lot of people coming to visit them here in Abu Ghosh. It's a very peaceful place and everybody who comes here thinks the same thing. kind of music is so universal and above uh, creed and, and race and whatever it is, after the concert you get out with a smile on your face 
in a way makes you forget the hardship of every day, politics, and everything around. You live on a different planet. I don't know. I don't know the answer, but this one has it. It just has it, and I don't know why. Maybe the simplicity of the church, maybe the feeling of the people sitting outside under the trees. Look around. You can see, you can feel it. It's a feeling, it's the vibes. I think it's unique. I've been in many, many festivals around the world, and I tell you, there is something very, very unique and beautiful in the combination of music and nature and very nice audiences. It is a vocal festival. It is thousands, I, I, I must say, it is thousands of compositions, which is unbelievable. I really believe if people will be more into music, we'll become better listeners. And if we listen one to the other, we train our ears and we can become better society. So I recommend everybody to listen to music and to listen to each other. Why doesn't the rest of the world know? Why don't they know that, that we come to an Arab village, that hundreds of people come and listen to music here? Why can't we show it more to the world? Nobody knows. There is an atmosphere of peace here, and that's really it.